Okay, recording. Hi guys, um, wait a while. The reflection on the specs. Maybe I'll just take it off. Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video that I'm gonna be making. And today I parted my hair like this so that I look more, a bit more like the eighth member of BTS. Yeah, I know it's probably a fail and I look more like a homeless guy, but never mind because today we're gonna learn a very good song. It's called Butter by BTS that just came out like around four hours ago. So are you excited to learn it? Cause I am! <laughs> Since previously you guys really liked my other BTS tutorial, in fact this is my most viewed guitar tutorial in my channel. And let's see if this video can beat that video. Let's go, I know you guys can do it. Help me achieve that by smashing that like button and subscribing. And along the way, as per usual, if you have doubts, you can DM my Instagram right here and ask me questions. So yeah. Without further ado, if you follow me throughout the tutorial, you'll be able to play something like this. Psych, you'll not be able to do that. This tutorial is supposed to be a beginner-friendly tutorial. So the goal of this tutorial is to play it as an accompaniment. So by the end of the tutorial, you'll be able to play something like So to play this song easily, you will need a capo and you will place it on the first fret. So let's just cover the basics of this song. You'll need to know four chords to play this song. And these four chords are very easy chords. Very simple four chords. First is G. And I know some of you guys play G like this. Like this. No, no, no. In this song, we want to play it like this. Which is a better way to play G. I can show you why later. And I want you guys to get used of playing this G instead of the other G. Okay, my G? E cringe. Okay. So the next chord would be a variation of the C chord. But I'll show you why the G... I'll show you why the previous G was better. This is called the G on C. Because in order to go from G to C, you just need to shift these two fingers down by one string. Oh, like that. You see that? You see how simple this is? This is G. This is C. You, didn't, you don't even need to change much. Like, look at, look at this finger. Easy, right? Very, very easy. Very easy change in chords. And then the next chord you need to know is a variation of the D chord. And it's as simple as this. And if you notice, right, all the chords that I've been teaching you for this song, your pinky and your ring finger is always there. You don't change this. So your pinky and ring finger is always there. You see? You see this? G. Then C. You just need to change your two fingers here. Move it down. Then a D, a variation of D. Just need to release both of this. Put your index finger on top of this. So it becomes this shape. And then the other one is a variation of E minor. It's called the E on G. No, it, it's called the G on E. And what you do is you just take out your index finger and then shift it here. Just like this shape. Easy, very, very easy. Throughout the song, keep your ring finger and pinky finger here. It might sound a bit more difficult than it is, but when you are used to it, I promise you, these four chords are very, very, very helpful. In fact, you can play most songs out there with only these four chords. So yeah, moving on to the intro of the song. If you listen to the actual song, you'll hear this. We're gonna imitate that. Ha <laughs> ha! So, we're gonna do that in the guitar. So as you notice, it goes something like... To do that on your guitar, you just need to use your palm and strike the body of your guitar. And that's your kick drum. And then, to do the, the snare, you just need to use your thumb and slap it on the string. Like that. Combining that together, you get... That's literally it to the intro. 
Then you go to the first verse. So for the first verse, we're going to split it into two parts. The first part, you do exactly the same thing as you do for the intro. Then you, then you just sing the lyrics. It goes something like, Smooth like butter, criminal undercover. Something like that. Then you'll end at breaking into your heart like that. Then, that's it for the first part or the first verse. So here comes the second part. For the second part, I want you to form your G chord, the one I showed you just now. Then you do the same thing again. You do the percussion. But while you do that, you will strike the strings as well. So, while you hit the body, you can use the rest of your fingers to strike the strings. It doesn't matter what strings you hit, as long as your chord is right, it will sound good. So it will sound like and then, you use, when you want to do your slap, you do your slap with your thumb just like just now, but you use the rest of your fingers to strike the string as well. Something like that. It doesn't matter what strings you hit, as long as your chord is right, it's gonna sound good too. So it'll sound something like... And that's literally it for the verse. Cool shade stutter. Is that how it goes? I'm not sure, but something like that. I'll try to sing it again, but bear with me because I cannot play the song if not, I'll get a copyright claim. So it goes, so it's supposed to go something like Cool shade star Where I on on Wait, what? Hot like summer You can do something like that And then, that's literally it for the first verse Easy peasy. My head is getting a bit more messy, but oh well, it's the messy V look. Never mind. Ha ha. Corporate need you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. Intel has told us there were at least seven. Okay, I'll receive one. Okay. They're the same picture. And then after the verse, we go to the pre-chorus. And for the pre-chorus, here is your chord progression: G on C, G on D, and G on E. For simplicity's sake, we can just call it C, D, and E minor. So it's gonna sound something like So it's a C, D, E, C, D, D. That's it. For the strumming pattern, it's up to you, however you want to strum. As long as your chords are right, this, any strumming pattern would sound good. But if you want to do what I did, this is what I did. I used the technique called palm muting, where you use the back side of your palm, place it on the bridge of the guitar, and it'll create this muted sound when you strum. So without the palm muting, it would sound like this. With the palm muting, it would sound like this. So I used that technique called the palm muting, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on this technique, you can comment down below and I'll make a video on it. Then my strumming pattern was Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Then you just do it quickly. And to spice things up a little bit, we can put, we can do some things, we can do what we call a hammer on. So this is just an extra thing if you want to make it sound a little bit more spicy. If you cannot do it, it's fine. It's totally fine. What I do is I, I can hammer the chord. So instead of playing it like this, I do this. You see this? I strum first. Then I hammer the chord in shape. It's like I hammer my fingers onto the fretboard. Or you can just hammer one finger if you want to Or any finger you want So, combining everything together, you'll get And that's literally it for the pre-chorus Now we get to the chorus For the chorus, if you've been following me it's exactly the same chord progression. It's a C, D, and E minor. And if you've been doing the palm muting thing, I want you to do the exact same thing you do, 
but release the palm muting in the chorus because the palm muting gives it some kind of tension like like it's a water balloon about to explode that's the same analogy that I used in my previous video so during that palm muting process the tension builds up and you want to explode in the chorus you want to BAM! this is the chorus yo, you know? so you want to release that palm muting and let the balloon explode so the chorus will be the same strumming pattern and then the ending goes something like And that's literally it again for the chorus. It's exactly the same as the pre-chorus. It's just you release the palm you think and you are done. Very, very easy. So after the chorus, you go to another verse. And you do the exact same thing you did for the first verse. You just need to do that. Smooth like butter. If you want to add a bit of variations here and there, Please be my guest. Here are, some, here are some inspirations for you guys. If you want to vary your playing, you can play it like... Those are for you guys who are more familiar with the guitar. It's not very beginner friendly. So for the beginners, you all can just stick to the... It'll still sound good. Or you can just create your own pattern as well. Then after the verse, you go to the pre-chorus, you do the exact same thing. And after, and after that, you go to the chorus and you do the exactly same thing again. Then after the second chorus, there's a kind of a beat drop that sounds something like this. I'm just gonna play it for a while. I hope. Please don't copyright claim this. So for that part, you just get back to your palm muting, do your hammer-ons and do the exact same chord progression. So if you wanna vary the beat drop also, for some of you guys who are more experienced with guitar, you can add the pentatonic scale inside. Uh, this one is really, really, really optional. You can do it like... Then after that is the rap. It's the Suga and RM's rap part. Her eyes on my wrist, I'm the nice guy. You cannot rap. <laughs> Never mind. And you'll do the exact same thing until the song ends. And you end at the last chord. The end. That's it. So if you've been following me through the tutorial, you'll be able to do something like this. Something like that. I risk getting copyright struck for you guys, but it's okay. Ah, my leg. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Ah, my leg hurts. And my mind just fell. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can DM my Instagram. If this actually helped you, you can please do subscribe and like this video. More videos coming soon. You can also request some videos and tutorials if you guys want. Please do check my other tutorials here. Click click somewhere there to subscribe. The icon, you know, that small icon, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, and if you want me to make a full cover of this song, you can also comment it down below and I can consider it. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.